so I got this mega build, right? Which very surprisingly requires a lot of materials, which I don't have because my world is so new. So I got this pit that I'm digging through the tallest mountain in my land. I completely focus on mining and lowering the ground down and we gathered around 12 double chests of stone. So this bad boy should be finished soon, maybe. Hey, what's up everyone? I thought I'd get comfortable for this episode. <laughs> Dude, I completely forgot about this. I was looking around on some of my Minecraft launchers and then I noticed that like I have this skin. I'm 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 kind of confused on what's on the back. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be my logo with like a duck bill, maybe? But um yeah, I, I don't I don't know, but I, I just I saw this skin, I thought it was really funny, and then I got like little duck feet like duck faces on my feet. So I don't know, I, I thought, you know, uh, it, it was very fitting. So I felt like I should wear it at least for the beginning of this episode, or at least like, you know, maybe this entire episode, because you know, we're, we're about to get super comfy in here, just most likely mining the hole the entire time. But I don't know, it kind of ruins it once I put on the armor, but uh, whatever, you guys saw the skin. So I promise you guys, I'm not ignoring your comments that I'm recording this immediately after episode seven. So, you know, I, I believe this is episode eight. So, you know, we did like a pretty decent amount of work that I honestly want to take cloud and I want to check out the build. By the way, I keep seeing comments about you guys saying that I have ADHD and even though you're probably like 95% correct, um, I, I don't appreciate that. <laughs> You guys, you guys are like really good at analyzing me about everything. It's really funny whenever I read comments. Like you guys picked up that I don't uh, look at tutorials. I don't read unless it's Berserk uh, or like any other manga. Um, <laughs> I might have ADHD because of just how rapidly I go through things. Like it's so funny. Uh, I love reading those. But I think now is going to be a really good time to test out our uh, our trading hall. I just want to take cloud around it. I want to see what it's going to be like. I want to see if it's if it's too thin, if it's thick enough for a, a mount. Also, just how much faster we can actually explore it versus being on foot. So this is big days. This is your first. Oh, my God. OK, Jesus. Yeah. Hey, this is your first time being up here. OK, so the walkway over here was designed just for humans to go through, not for mounts. But this over here, like this is still OK. So this is a really nice width. This is really nice. This one is still pretty skinny, but it's not as bad. So I, I think we've done the the thickness, the the width. Uh, out here very well. I really hope that in newer versions of Minecraft that they fix this because that's that's rough. Like th this is that's really bad. That shouldn't be a thing. Um. Okay. So yeah, then you just run up here and yep. Then you kind of bug out like that. But then now we can actually take around like the entire lap around here. I still love this. Like I don't know why, but I just. I love how simple, like it's all the same texture. It's very flat, very tall. This is flat and wide. Like, I don't know why, but I just love it. And I maybe I love it so much strictly because it's just so nostalgic compared to, you know, like older games. I need to explore what that is at some point because I, that always piques my interest whenever I look out over here. The bad thing is that we're gonna have to turn around soon, but like, this isn't too bad. You know, this still takes a very, very long time on amount but this is still like doable you know and it's pretty scenic and nice oh yeah while i was building so we have a village there we have a village there and yeah we have that village there which i think that was the starting one i think that was yeah, yeah that was the starting one yeah because there's our hill so when i found this world seed on google it was really funny because they're like oh yeah there's only one village around your spawn for thousands of blocks and then it's like oh okay then what is that and what is that over there you know i, I feel like i feel like you guys uh, probably miscalculated uh, the distance on everything oh and then since this is the beginning of the episode so i'll get a lot more responses for this what are your guys' thoughts on this so it's going to be for this channel and the main channel but how do you guys feel about you know maybe no no pick, pick up cloud pick, no no pick pick up cloud there you go so not about your guys' thoughts about picking up cloud but what are your guys' thoughts about this channel and the main channel to where maybe so I, I upload weekly on both channels maybe three of the uploads is just the survival series so it'd be this series and then for the main channel it's the survival series that hasn't gone up yet because like we're just still editing it going through older videos i don't know why i decided to jump instead of just like get off and immediately pick you up and then maybe just to keep things kind of fresh or maybe i don't know just to like branch out or just not get burnt of the worlds maybe one 
of the videos, like one of the four is just like a random game or a random 100 days on, you know, Minecraft, like some kind of challenge thingy. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm, I'm spitballing ideas here, but I just want to see what are you guys interested in watching? And then, yeah, I, I guess for anyone who didn't watch like the ending of episode seven or like really, uh, you know, like haven't been keeping up. Uh, yeah, that that's basically the build. So that's not bad. That was only after like three episodes. I'm pretty sure that was episode like the first episode, second episode, and then all of this was, you know, the third episode of me building that. So not bad. I just wanted to uh, view it on uh, horseback, even though there's a mule, and I don't know, just to like show it off. But yeah, I, I just wanted to see your guys' uh, inputs about the, the series ideas. Okay, so now, you know, obviously that place takes so much materials, and it's very, uh, you know, expensive. Um, yeah, this is all that I have left, so that's really not good. I removed all of the chests just so I can like easily tell which ones actually have items so I don't have to keep going through everything. But yeah, let's just put them all back down. Well, not like that. And you know what? Actually, here, let's just take all of this and let's see. I think I have another barrel. All right. I mean, we could just use this one single chest. Yeah, let's just put this away because let's be real. I don't need this. Come on. I can make it. I know I can. I know I, uh, I know I can make it. Come on. My duck outfit gives me plus three to jump in. Come on. Oh my god, whatever. Okay, there we go. See, so, okay, so now at least, you know, all of those chests need to be filled up. The only downside is that I need a lot of dirt, and where we're getting at on that hill is a lot of stone. So that's gonna be a little interesting, but I'm, I'm hoping I can get a lot of dirt because we do need that to finish. Should I keep using this duck skin for a little bit uh, on this channel, maybe? Like, maybe not the main channel, but like maybe here. Oh, look at my little feet. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of so that this episode isn't so short because I, I, I get the feeling, you know, I, I understand you guys pretty decently that, you know, you guys want uh, super long episodes. So I'm trying my best to not just load up movies and, you know, TV shows and just binge watch those while I dig over there. Because, like, really, I should be streaming. Uh, there's always a talk about that, you know, like, I, I always talk about streaming again and, you know, like, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to stick to it. I don't know why. I just, I, I, I like recording a lot more than streaming because at least when you know recording i can take a break whenever we're streaming i just have to keep going for hours on end and then uh, whenever i stream i always start to lose my voice or my throat starts to go out because of just how much i talk because again at least when i'm recording I, I can just stop recording or i can just go silent for quite some time just to heal up and also i desperately need to like spruce up my streaming uh software and like make it look better <laughs> so i don't know at some point you know I'll, I'll definitely stream maybe at some point maybe very big on the maybe maybe you know uh, and then same thing with you know darman coming in here i just i'm very lazy to figure out like how to turn this into a server i'm sure it's simple i think i just need to send him my mod pack and then you know he just i, I opened a lan and then you know he just connects to me like I, i'm sure it's that simple i'm just lazy it's it's the same thing as me watching or reading tutorials. Like, okay? like you guys are gonna learn really fast about me. <laughs> I'll talk about, you know, me being lazy and then I'll go build something like that for a few weeks or months. <laughs> so I, I, I contradict myself a ton with that. Okay, but here we go. See, now we got like a queen size bed up here. I mean, we're really stepping it up. At some point I should also like heavily invest into a um what, what are those called again you know you know the thing uh beacons i should probably invest into one of those that helps me out with mining because it would be really nice to uh, adjust to go up to stone and then just be like like that and then just you know break my pick in the span of three minutes so i, I think that'd be really cool and fun oh yeah no we definitely need to get netherite soon but no no I'm, I'm i'm being good i'm being a very strong duck penguin and i'm just going to finish the trading hall first and then we'll do uh, the nether so that's gonna be insane honestly i I don't know if I'm being optimistic. I feel like we could probably finish that building in like 15, maybe 20 episodes. Like I actually don't think it's gonna be that long or difficult to finish. Oh, and then maybe what I do is after, maybe, oh, what, what if I like structure it like this series and the main channel series? Like what if I structure it like, God, I sound like such a weeb. Like if I structure it like an anime or I guess like a TV show with arcs. So right now we're in the the holy trading hall arc, and then once that building is finished, you know, like we'll make a playlist of all the episodes for this, and then the next arc is probably going to be the Nether Portal. I'm trying to think of like a cooler name than just Nether Portal, because that sounds really boring. The Ethereal Nether Portal. 
or you know yeah you know you know i'm trying to think of things to yap about so that there's a lot of footage in this episode uh i think i'm because i oh yeah no actually here i think i'm gonna go watch like two maybe three episodes of the halo series like the halo tv series and then i'm gonna give my thoughts on that because i have a lot more thoughts because i'm not as tired as i was last episode so I, I think i can give it like a way better rating i feel like i gave it an eight out of ten if you don't think of the halo show as you know halo uh, i think i'm actually gonna lower that down to like a five like a five or a four even if you don't think of it as, you know, Halo when you're watching the Halo show. Because, you know, if you think of the Halo show as Halo, then it's a 1, maybe a 2. Um, but yeah, then, like, if you don't think of it as Halo, then it's, like, a very strong 4. Yeah, like, a really strong 4. But yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna go watch, like, two episodes of that and then definitely start yapping a lot more. Don't worry, I believe in my yapping skills, so you guys are probably in for a treat. A treat or a migraine, which wh whatever way you view, like listening to me. <laughs> oh, hi, hello. Oh my God. Okay, things are about to get. Oh, very wicked. Okay. Um, not gonna lie, I don't exactly know how to mine this. I got you know, I can reach and break it, but like I don't know how to mine it while getting everything. Um, it might be mine everything. Put water, drop down, break an ankle, pick up everything, swim back up. Might be how we need to do things. But, like, I knew that there was, you know, a giant cavern there, but, like, damn. I can pick up everything, yes. I need all these blocks, please. I can't lose any of you. I just realized I also now need to go around and mine while shifting the entire time. Oh, here, so we'll just be smart. Let's just mine the entire thing. Like, everything that's over the hole. And then we'll jump down. Now, at least the hole's gonna look really, really sick. You know, just having this kind of a view for your walls, like, that's gonna be pretty cool. Okay, then we just need to be smart. So, we're gonna put down the water first, and then I jump down, because I don't wanna... I don't want the water to reach it first, and then just, like, push all of the items everywhere. So, yeah, please don't hurt me. Oh, okay, it was only two hearts. It was only two hearts and maybe three decades of ankle pain, but it was totally worth it. Dude, this place looks gorgeous. Oh, this looks so cool. Who knows? Maybe I can also turn this into a build. Oh my god. Dude, that looks so cool, though. Oh, you can most definitely do some kind of uh, medieval build in here. Like, maybe this is a area for, like, a brewery. You know, for, like, potions and, like, uh, wizard stuff. It's kind of the vibe that I get from this. Hi, right, please don't touch me. I'm petrified of social interactions. That's why I don't collab with anyone except for a famous rapper. <laughs> no, 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 that's okay. Please don't touch me. Yeah, go down there. Oh, speaking of famous rapper, I think by the time this episode goes out, I'm pretty sure my collab with Baby No Money is probably live on the main channel. If you guys want to go check that out. We played a horror mod pack in Minecraft, and we were screaming a lot because that thing was actually terrifying. Okay, sweet. That wasn't that bad. Okay, but anyways, uh, now that my ADHD is under control, that, you know, I've never had it diagnosed. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and watch the like two, three episodes of the Halo TV show. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a second. Okay, so I actually just went through and I watched like three episodes and went a little cuckoo crazy. Uh, also ignore my tools. So I had like half of an episode left, which is maybe 30 minutes. And I just went back to uh, our base, healed it up, traded. That's also why I'm level eight. And uh, we got like a decent amount of stone. Uh, also, uh, grass, so I was very surprised by that. Uh, that was a very, very nice find. Uh, I don't know why, but I feel like going back to the base and showing you all. Okay, so, uh, I believe I watched... Oh my god, wait, was it episode 5? It was episode 5 or it was episode 6, and then I watched 7 and 8. I honestly can't tell if the season is over or not. They left it in, like, such a weird way that it screams this is the ending of the season. Or it, maybe they're just trying to end the episode in a really heavy way. There's so much wrong with it. So there, there's like multiple points to make because, you know, all of the media that we have from Halo is just from the games. So technically you don't need to like recreate them carbon copy, like in a worse way, because like you, you can't make live action better than animation. It's not possible. Like I don't think there's really anything live action can do better than animation um, from like a sci-fi standpoint uh you know like magical powers and, and by animation in this sense i'm talking like the cutscenes from halo 
the video games, how that is an animation. I'm not talking about like Avatar The Last Airbender animation where it's hand drawn. So anyways, um, I understand you don't need to make a carbon copy with the show. And that's like, I'm, I'm trying to watch the show from multiple different standpoints instead of just being like, okay, this isn't how Halo actually is. This is trash. Like I'm, I'm trying to be like, okay, everything is already written out. The entire lore and story universe, everything is already done on Halo. Like we have so much for it. So maybe you're trying to take everything that we have currently and you're trying to expand upon it, which, okay, you, you can do that where maybe, uh, you know, in this story, uh, instead, um, Halsey is kind to her daughter and actually wants to be in her life. Uh, really quickly. Yes. Yeah. So we have like half of a double chest. So technically a chest of grass. So not the best. That is most definitely not going to be enough to actually, you know, finish the trading hall. Uh, yeah, we also don't have any more logs. I used all of that up for trading. Got a lot more emeralds, blah, blah, blah. I think I'm just going to go mine while I talk. So if you guys are watching the Halo show, I just don't write. Go, go finish it. Go get up to episode eight. That's all I'm talking up to. Because again, I don't know if the season ended. But yeah, uh, no, I'm going to be talking about that for a little bit because I just, I, I need something to talk about while I do this or else it's going to be a five minute episode. I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. So you can expand upon things where, okay, maybe, God, like, I don't even know examples to do that won't mess with anything because everything was kind of done with a purpose. Maybe more Spartan 2s actually lived. Maybe not all of them died. Maybe that could have been a really fun one. Or maybe the show could have expanded upon the Arbiter, which I have so many things to say about that. That, how they... I don't know if the Arbiter that we saw in this Halo was the Arbiter from the Halo games, which it should be because Chief is there. So this Arbiter was the most like disrespected character that I've seen other than Chief for this. They got Halsey pretty damn right. Like she was pretty accurate. Keys was pretty accurate as well. No, no complaint with him other than just how he died. I wish that they had him die to the flood and not to the covenant when trying to escape reach. Also how they did reach was very weird. I don't think that they, they, they didn't follow, you know, the story of it, but I guess it was kind of cool how they did it. Like I, I, I can, I can respect them for taking reach that direction in the show compared to the game, just because like, okay, it's something new but the outcome is the same. It's depressing. There's no way to win and people died and there goes their strongest planet. Like the most uh, like kitted out, like um, firepower uh, planet. So, you know, it, it can make sense to me with that. So I, I guess that one was cool. But this Arbiter to where he blindly follows this human that shouldn't have any power whatsoever with the Covenant because it doesn't make sense for a human to be there. The prophets made it that way to where humans are perceived to be, you know, heretics, evil. They're, they're a, uh, like, dirty spot that, you know, you need to clean and get rid of. So I don't understand her still. It's very confusing, you know, with her. And then Arbiter dying to Chief, that one doesn't make sense to when in the games they kind of paint them to be friends after their first encounter. And then how the Arbiter just completely betrays the Covenant and then just goes AWOL, starts killing his own. Don't get that. I, uh, I really don't understand why they're like the entire storyline of the show is it's before Reach. They have Halo Reach. They have Halo 4. And I think, yeah, yeah they now have Halo 1 and they have all of those Halos in there mumbo jumbled up. Like it's, it doesn't follow it chronologically whatsoever. They, they took all of it. They wrote out all of the, the main points of all of those games, put it into a big bowl and then like shook it around and then they just started randomly taking parts out and like okay this is good another one was um i forgot his name but it's the black spartan with a messed up arm i think it started with an s but i don't get how he has a kid a huge thing that's talked about in the books and i think the game i don't, I don't think it's talked about in the game but at least in the books spartans can't have babies like neither side they're all infertile because of what they went through to become superhuman and I'm also really positive that Spartans can't get concussions, so I don't know why Chief keeps getting concussions. And I don't get why Chief is just automatically, just right off the bat, like I don't know why they just painted him as a criminal and everyone's out to get him now. And then no one believes him, everyone's out to get him, all of this other stuff. Like there, there's so much to the show to where it, this is the worst part about being in a fandom. <laughs> 
and just being with it for decades and then you go and you see a live action show that you've been wanting literally all your life and then it's just this it's it's such a disappointment uh, i'm sorry i i know i'm rambling about it and probably not many of you if not like any of you probably care to hear me talk about this but it's just it's such a disappointment and lately like uh same thing with uh, jujutsu kaisen for anyone who reads the manga just everything is just so disappointing story-wise i i don't understand what's going on with you know all of the writers and authors but it just feels like they don't have any more passion for their projects or no one just cares anymore. So it's just, it's such a disappointing time for media and I guess literature if you count manga as that. But there's always Berserk, baby. Woo! love that manga so much. Hey, if you guys are looking for a good story and you can handle dark stuff, hey, I heavily recommend it. <laughs> But anyways, uh, other than me passionately talking about Halo and why it's bugging me- Oh god, wait, I forgot about the Flood. I'm so sorry. That- that pissed me off, seeing the Flood in Halo. That- that pissed me off so much. Just how they portrayed the Flood, how they made the Flood look like zombies, which technically, yes, they are zombies, but they're not really zombies, you know? Like, they're- they're undead but not really undead like they can be undead but all of the flood monsters that you see moving around are most likely alive humans and then like they slowly die like it, it was just weird and then the flood in there don't seem like a hive mind which i guess like for the beginning stages yeah that makes sense because like they they can't you know uh, communicate like that with each other but it doesn't make sense to me how oh to become part of the flood you just you know you have to get bitten or you know, scratch, and it's like, yes, but you're also missing the fact that, no, it's also with spores, so everyone in that UNSC base, they're all dead, like, instantly. The, the second that one of those spores just leaves that little, uh, sample that they grabbed, like, they brought back there, like, they're all dead instantly like, the entire planet's gonna fall in a day and then speaking of a planet falling in a day why is it just master chief that knows how to pronounce oni it's not o and i <laughs> you don't say every letter of it it's oni they say it in the game there's even like podcasts from 343 and bungie where they say oni like i, I don't understand why they're saying o and i it's very it, and it's not even um consistent to where you have some actor saying oni and the other one's like i am part of oni you never left oni i'm always with oni it's it, it just doesn't make sense to me why they can't have that consistency there and why they're saying oni it, it's giving i'm ong you know from the first avatar the last airbender movie instead of saying ang his, you just kept saying ong for some stupid reason so yeah that that one bugs me i don't like how they're portraying the flood I also don't like that they introduced the Flood so early on, and then just instantly, oh yeah, they're the Flood, they're super evil and bad. It's like, no, 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 stop telling, show. Show them why they're bad. That's why you shouldn't have killed Keys off so early, because you should have had the Flood take him over, just like in the video game, and also in the book, and then in the book it describes all of the horrors that he's going through and the amount of pain, and then it really shows you why the Flood is so evil. And also, it's not a slow conversion rate, like, as soon as you have some of the Flood in you, you're, you're a Flood within a second. They will tear you apart molecularly, they're going to be brutal with you, they steal your memories, like, they're, they are a nightmare. They are arguably the most terrifying fantasy villain ever. So I, I don't like how weak that they made the Flood in there and just introducing him like that. It's just, it's so much stuff. I, I'm sorry, I don't know how much of this Darman's keeping in. I, I can, I can ramble about this forever, I, like, I really can, but I, I just, I'm heated. <laughs> It bugs me because I'm finally getting my show from the video game that got me into gaming back when I'm six and then they just give us this dumpster fire. But anyway, so how are you guys doing? <laughs> You guys having a good day. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, I wanted to vent about that. I, I'm still waiting for one of these episodes to go up to where I'm watching movies and I give my review. I don't know if you guys are like into this at all or if you care about my opinion about things. But yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm not happy about the Halo show. Like, I, I still stand by it. I give it a strong four, maybe a five. But I just, I don't understand it. And then I don't understand Silver Team not being together and being like insanely loyal. I don't know why Kai beat the soul out of John. And then they just left him. No guards went in there and like locked him up or, you know, finished him off. They just left an unconscious, you know, villain in their eyes in a room with access to stuff 
that he was looking for. Like, I, I, I really don't get that one. So I think for this episode, though, just having both of the days, because, you know, each day I just give myself two days to record an episode, and usually we get a lot done. But I think if we just spend this time just mining the hole the entire time, just collecting a metric ton of resources, we should be able to complete a ton on the trading hall. And then maybe the next time that I need to go for resources, that's when I bring in Darman. And then we spend like two or three days mining this so that then we get even more resources to hopefully finish off the trading hall if I haven't uh, finished it off already. So I think that's going to be the game plan for this. So I think I, I think this is episode eight. So episode nine and ten should be strictly just building and like more entertainment than just watching me mine <laughs> and then i guess we can bring in darman if i really have to but i think it's fair like if you can't uh, you know finish enchanting all of his stuff and mine up at least like 12 million stone grass blocks and deep slate i i think it's pretty fair to give him like a 90 percent pay cut i'm just i'm just thinking out loud here I, I think that's pretty fair it's also so weird to me just to be able to only mine up a uh, stone oh god wait i just realized even if i spend two days mining all of this i'm most likely going to be using up all of this stone on the lower courtyard's walls like going around the entire shape of the building all of those blocks that are going to be needed like these two days might actually just be for that one part and then you know it by the off chance that i'm lucky which usually i am maybe we finish all of those lower walls and then maybe we have leftover blocks to actually start on the building which I still don't know what to do for the roof. Because I, I can't use wood. That's going to be too dangerous with thunderstorms. Like if I'm ever in the nether or if I'm, you know, deep underground and I don't hear thunder. I don't want to come back to 500,000 blocks are now gone because one stupid lightning bolt hit it. Which I could use copper and, you know, make a make a lightning rod. But eh. And I was thinking... Oh, wait. Because I was thinking of copper because then, you know, it can oxidize to green. Or, I we do have an ocean monument right there, and I could just go and turn that into a farm, and then we use, I think it's called deep prismarine blocks, uh, the, the very dark green one that has like an entire square grid around it, or on it. Maybe we use that one for the ceiling, because I think that would go pretty well. It, it would look... I, I think that would look pretty medieval because I like I, I know, uh, you know, actual medieval buildings. It's just kind of like wooden uh, roofs or it's just going to be stone. But I don't want to make it all just stone. It's going to be really boring. So uh, are you guys enjoying my podcast where I do mundane things like this? And then I just yap. Also, are you surprised by the power of my yapping? My inner Italian is smiling. <laughs> Is it also weird that I go numb while doing this? <laughs> like, I don't know how, but I just, like, I completely shut off my brain. Like, I don't remember mining this, if I'm being honest. I don't have any recollection at all of mining any of this stuff. Other than, uh, digging up dirt, because I had to think about that. I don't know, maybe that is a good idea, though, for these segments. Because, like, thinking about it, maybe, maybe it's actually pretty fun. Like, I don't know, uh, uh... Uh, it's a slippery slope, like I'm scared to do it because of copyright, but like, you know, Darman could show clips or like pictures of whatever movie slash show that I'm talking about. So you guys get some uh, visual visualization uh, of it. But I think like just watching stuff and then just like talking about it might be good for moments like this because I, I really cannot come up with any idea of what to do for uh, this. Other than like in the past when I was doing penguin facts about, uh, you know, whenever I was doing like really mundane things like this. And I had nothing to talk about for the day on the 100 day episodes. Oh yeah, kind of a cool thing. Um, oh my god. Okay, that's why I had the water bucket ready. Yeah, uh, we're now currently on day 302. And I gotta say, like, we're making pretty good progress on everything. Like, as in, you know, making a really cool world. Because especially to have that giant thing over there in a solo world. One, you know, just kind of insane to have that. But, you know, we're making pretty decent progress compared to the hardcore series on there. It's where... I'm, I'm really hoping that by day 1000 that I have that done and I really, really want to have the nether portal mega build done. Very hopeful on all that stuff because honestly, I think my goal now for this series and the future series on the main channel, I just want to have a world that is just like jaw dropping, just being like, whoa, okay, this is a single player world and you have all of this, like you built those, like I... Uh, I want to have something like impressive. So I think a good goal for both series is just by day 1000, have two mega builds done. But yeah, uh, I think 
know, I'm just gonna go through, fill up my inventory, and then, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys then. The definition of insanity, I was insane once. They used to put me inside of walls. And then I broke through the walls. I used to be so insane. That's how I... Do you want to know how I got this stone? Well, you see... My father was a miner. I'm very curious why the hole. Oh my god, I almost fell in the hole. And I'm very curious by like, you know, horses, donkeys, mules, like all the, you know, regular mounts that you can have in Minecraft. Why do they always just randomly stop and like go up? I don't think that ever happened in Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay, so from this giant mining expedition, so I mean like not bad, you know, we got three chests. How many chests did I have when, uh, when we first started the 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 trading hall didn't i only have like four or five how many how many did i use i'm pretty sure we had to do two different um like mining trips to actually get all the material for it so i don't think it was just at one time i swore my life uh, for the um the trading hall everything that i built so far i swear i've had like maybe five or six double chests of stone i don't know if any of you know it's probably gonna be like one of you that's gonna go back and like watch everything and be like oh yeah you had this many total but i feel like we're gonna match it off of this you know one uh little trippy thing that you know that i'm doing like just spending this episode just mining I feel like we're gonna match the amount of stone. No, actually, no, 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 no. I feel like we could probably double it because we're not having to go through so many layers of dirt. We're now kind of just on um, stone, even though we still haven't reached all four corners of the hole yet. Like we're still trying. Ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, sorry. Ooh, don't want to make Cloud get hurt. Yeah, like we're still trying to reach all four corners. So like, you know, we're but we're kind of dealing with um, just stone. I think we can double it. So honestly, maybe the, oh dude. <gasps> I wonder if we can actually finish the trading hall just from collecting all of this. Maybe, it heavily depends on how much grass I get, but also what material that I use inside. Cause I might make the flooring wood just because like that's pretty, like normal for medieval buildings. But then I'm trying to think of a cool way to use wood because I don't want to be boring and just use like stupid oak planks. Like oh, that's boring. Mm, we'll do some kind of a design. I think we'll have a nice repeating pattern for a majority of the floor maybe. And then in the center, we'll have like a really cool sick big boy design, you know? Kind of tempted to put the uh, berserk uh, symbol the center of that place i think it'd be really fitting to have that make it out of wood you know what i might i might actually bring it like it, any building that's heavily inspired by berserk you know that building over there i might actually just bring in like some little uh, berserk easter eggs like here and there inside of there like maybe i, I can't use a lot of it because it get me demonetized but you know <laughs> but yeah uh anyways so since it's gonna be two days of this, uh, I think I'm gonna go watch a movie. I'm gonna go try and find something cool, something way but Oh yeah, I, I'm not even gonna talk about this one movie that I watched for the uh, the future series on the main channel. Oh my god, like I'm I'm still actually a little scarred from it, and it's hard to mess me up. That movie actually made me uncomfortable, and it's it's been years since I felt that. So yeah, that that movie is so weird. I heavily recommend you guys watching the first episode when it goes live. Which should be in a few weeks. <laughs> I don't know, that sounds really bad. But yeah, uh, it was fun. Don't worry, podcast gonna be back in a second. Need to go get something to grind my gears and talk about for like 30 minutes straight. <laughs> hey, what's up? Okay, so I went and I watched all of Transformers Age of Extinction. <laughs> Dude, I was laughing so much throughout that movie and it's not a comedy at all. I... 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 I can't rate the movie because it's just, it, it's insanely obviously just made for kids. Oh, also I found out Cloud could just take a lot of fall damage, so it's just a lot faster to just run down the mountain like that, and then he heals over time, so uh, I just wanted to throw that out there. But yeah, like that, that movie was 100% made for kids. It, it was so funny how cheesy and just cringy some parts were. Like, I, I gotta give huge props to every single actor in the movie because there's no I could never deliver some of their lines with a straight face. It was such a good time. Like it, that that movie is strictly a okay, you have absolutely nothing to watch, but you want to watch something, then you watch that. Like you're going to be laughing 
so much for the next like three hours that you're watching that it, it was so good like nothing made sense in it whatsoever i like how oh this family that you know they're incredibly poor the dad likes to tinker stuff aliens what oh okay that that's like thrown at them really fat aliens oh okay i i suppose you know this family who's like heavily struggling and you know average people you know just normal people and then you're gonna go help like an 80 foot tall robot alien <laughs> so I, just, I, I love it like I, i'm trying so hard to not rip on the movie because it's just how stupid it was to me but oh my god that was such a great time that that was that was a very beautiful three hours spent um I also filled up all four of these double chests with stone. This one is now full of stone, and this one is going to be filled heavily with stone. And we have a decent amount of uh, grass blocks, like not too shabby there. I'm still very worried to where I'm a little tempted to just either ignore all of the stone or go find another hill that I need to remove, or I don't know, maybe... Maybe we start like a little bit lower because like all of that that I'm looking at with my cursor right now, my, my little crosshair, that needs to go. So I'm a little tempted just to go and get all of that uh, grass because yeah, I need it really badly. And this, that might actually be enough to finish a mega build. So may maybe I don't need to worry about any of it at all. Also, you know what? Here, just because I love you so much, Cloud. There we go. Oh, also in uh, better news, yeah, we're almost done with the, the pumpkin pies. Okay, there you go. Full health, there you go. Thank you for risking your ankles for me all the time. I love you. I've also been trying to stay on top of all of the honey in here every time that I uh, come down. So that's going swimmingly. Oh, I'll, I also had to repair my tool. Oh, that's right. So I had to repair my tool and I finished Darman's boots right there. And I uh, combined all of these thingies, which I haven't even looked at like how much XP I need for that. Uh, we keep getting a whole lot of iron, which I just smelt when I use that to also repair my pickaxe. I went around and I harvested all of the uh, the trees around here, did a little bit of um, trading so that I can repair the pickaxe, because I think I did that once or twice. I don't, I don't remember how many times I did it. I think I did it once. Maybe twice? Nah, 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 nah. I, I think I did it once. Of which, hello, beautiful, need to do this again. And then if you can't tell by my... I want to say cadence, but I feel like that's not correct. I feel like that's not the right time to use that, that terminology, but I don't know, uh, if you could tell by my voice, I I'm tired though. I think I've been going for about eight hours straight, like in one sitting on this. So I should probably stop soon and like go get a life. <laughs> Yeah, but um, I, I feel like I should talk a little bit more uh, about the movie. I like the ending though, like uh, the, the the scenery there. That was really pretty. That one was really you know cool looking. Um, the story it was just, like I I'm trying to remember all of these specific times. That was just so damn funny to me, especially the ending, where it, it just massive props to these actors because I feel like they had to have taken several tries because it was just so damn funny how corny it was and then just very typical stuff and then I lost it at the very end strictly because of TikToks to where people will just make like memes about um Michael Bay and how uh like lincoln park would usually play at the end of the, <laughs> the movies some people just do like really stupid things and then they just play that song and then they just have michael bay like directed by michael bay at the end of it, it as soon as i saw it right there at the ending i just lost it it was so good um i guess like this is kind of a umbrella statement but i really don't understand how um Movies like Transformers and Fast and Furious, Star Wars, uh, what, what's some other ones that have like a metric ton of them? I, I guess it's just those three where they just have like a metric ton of those movies coming out. How? <laughs> like, how, how did they have the money for that? <laughs> like, I, I... I get that, like, obviously they have to be making money, like, there, there's people watch it, probably people like me that just go to watch them just to laugh and then see, like, an apple fall off a table and then huge explosions and sparks going everywhere, like, I don't know why Michael's heavily into that, but 
it's just like how like how is there so many movies how do you still have stuff to to like do in them like i feel like in fast and furious i, I feel like after what it's been like 11 movies i, I feel like they should have you know had all the races you know i feel like they should have gone to all the countries and you know like beaten all the best drivers there and yeah, nice okay well here since uh they're all maxed out but let's just keep going just to get more xp for enchanting but yeah like I, I i don't understand how like there's so many fast and furious movies i don't understand how there's so many transformer movies and they're all the same every single one of them is Optimus Prime is almost dead. He's very dusty in the beginning. Some random bloke goes and finds him, cleans him up. Bad guys come in. OMG, they barely make it away. Now they're trying to hide from bad guys. Oh no, we need to get all of the Autobots together. Okay, Autobots, good. Oh no, bad guy do something really bad. Okay, Autobots, we're down right now, but we're gonna come back. And then there's a massive fight that would cause at least like $27 billion, maybe like $700 billion in damage at the end of the fight. And then everyone's like, yeah, we do like the Autobots. And it's like, okay, the only reason why all of this is happening is because they're here. And also like the, the Autobots like killed people and like destroyed buildings as well, but yeah, praise them. <laughs> It's the same thing with the Avengers. I never understood. <laughs> I never understood that one, but I love all the, the TikToks about like, oh, you just got a brand new car or you just paid off your car and then the Hulk chucks it at an alien, doesn't deal any damage, you lose your car. Like just all, all of that stuff. I love it so much because it's so true. But yeah, I just, I, I love these movies. I'm in such a good mood. <laughs> it, was, it was just so funny. <laughs> It's so funny and bad. I love them. Um, I wonder if Fast and Furious is the same, because to be honest, I think I've seen one of them, and it was like one of the first four, and it was like a decade ago that I watched it, but I do. they're such a good time. They're such a good time waster. Like that uh, Transformers Age of Extinction is like two hours and 45 minutes long, and oh my god, dude, what, it was a blessing. Oh man, it made me feel like I was mining for like 20 minutes. But uh, yeah, like there, there's nothing really else to talk about. Like, um, I think it's basically just mining down. Um, okay, not, not, th no, not there, not there. Okay, oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, there we go. Like I just, I keep pressing all the wrong stuff. There we go. Okay, Jesus. Um, yeah, there's one little tactic that I've been doing just because like I need grass more than dirt. Because at least then, you know, I don't have to wait for all of the, the dirt to turn into grass over at the mega build. So whenever I find a dirt patch like this, I will just put down a grass block and I'll just let it grow and like infect the entire thing. And then I'll just remove that one layer. That's what I did right over here. Like this used to be a lot taller, obviously. And yeah, that took so much time. I think that took me the entire three hours that I was mining right now just to go through and do all of this stuff. But uh, yeah, so I, that's all I've been doing. Um, the cave's hole keeps getting bigger. Yeah, like, I don't know, it was just, it's been really chill time, just been mining all of these stone blocks. Uh, we've been getting, like, a whole ton, so I got, I got a good feeling that we're not going to be needing to, uh, mine anymore to finish the, um, the trading hall. Like, once, you know, we're done with this episode, I, I, I feel like we will more than likely have enough for everything other than the roof. Which... Yeah, for the roof, that one's simple. I just go and make the, um, yeah, you know, the, uh, the, the guardian farm, you know, the, uh, the prismarine farm, whatever you want to call it. And then I think I'm just going to make like 20 chests over there, like double chests. And then I'm probably just going to leave my computer on and go fall asleep. And then we should come back to like 500,000 blocks. Cause I'm pretty sure that farm works really fast. So I get thinking back to the, um, the hardcore series. I'm pretty sure I was able to fill up, god, I think it was only four double tri- no, 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 I think it was way more, I think it was like 12. I want to say it was like probably like 12 double chests, and I think I filled them up completely in like 30 minutes. So yeah, we'll definitely be making like a massive storage system. Oh no, I need to go to Betty Bye. No, 
sword in game and in real life. Oh, oh yeah, I'll, um, surprisingly, another raid party came by. They're starting to become rare. I'm actually getting really shocked with how uh, rarely they come by. So that that one was like cool to see him again. It was like an old family reunion. It's kind of fun. So things are looking very bright. I think we're going to be finishing our mega build relatively soon. Except pretty soon I'm going to have to go back to recording for the main channel. Like I'm just taking like a little break from that because like uh, internal stuff with the, you know, figuring a lot of things out. So, you know, we'll, we'll be slowing down a little bit on progress for Not for you guys, but for me, definitely. Like I, I'm in the future right now. You guys are watching a very old recording. But yeah, so uh, I've been mining for eight hours and I feel like I'm going numb and I'm going very loopy because I was laughing so much. So um, yeah, I, I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> it wasn't me. I also don't know why I dig like a bot. I really don't get it. Like I, I will go through and like have my own little strips going through it. I, I don't know why I do that, but yeah. Also, I just really want to finish this little part right here. It's bugging me. I don't want to leave it. Okay, wait, but then I want to get rid of this line right here. Oh my God. Okay, I almost just walked in that. Woo! I'm also shocked, like, what I'm able to build. Like, that, so far, that entire building over there, all of that stuff, and I've only lowered down the ground this much. Like, it really doesn't feel like I've been collecting that many, uh, resources, but, yeah. Okay, what's sec. Uh, yep, uh, see you guys tomorrow. For you guys, that's basically the next clip, so, like, I'll, I'll see you guys in one second. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, okay. I, I, I want to push this all the way back over there. Let's just finish this a little bit. Okay, sick. Bedtime. I'm, time to go nappy poo. Hey, what's up? Uh, don't be mad, okay? So I, I, I'm I'm back in my normal clothes, okay? It's time to get serious. Not really. I uh, just, yeah. I don't know. I, I might make it a thing where I just keep on swapping my skins because I think I have about three variants of mine. Might be kind of fun to do that. Ooh, we could also probably do something to where, like, if you guys ever make a skin for me, like, you download this one, like, my regular skin, and then maybe, like, you make, you know, like, variants of it. You could upload it to uh, Twitter. Like, if you just, like, tweet it at me, boom, I download it. I can, like, shout you out or something. Might be a fun thing to do that. And episode six finally went live, <laughs> so you can probably tell, like, just how far ahead of uh, schedule Darman and I are. But it seems like you guys like it if we don't have an intro, like it just goes straight into me talking. I, I think that's the gist of things that I've got. Uh, please, I want these. Please, please give me. Thank you. But yeah, like, I, I think you guys like that. Or maybe that's just something that we do on this channel. Like, maybe we just don't have any intro and it just goes like straight into me just saying hi. Might be, you know, more personal that way. Like, you guys might like that more. Like, I don't know. So... Uh, I'm waiting on more comments to come through to, to get everyone's feeling on that. Also, like, I, I swear I'm not going crazy. You might find that hard to believe, but, like, I swear I'm not going crazy. But I haven't seen any comments about, like, when I talk about movies and shows. Like, once I, you know, when I'm like, oh, I'll be right back, you know, I'm gonna go watch a three-hour-long movie, and then I, like, you know, I tell you my, 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 uh, my idea, or not my idea, but, like, my, my thoughts about it. I haven't seen any comments about it, so I really don't know if I should continue you doing that or if it's just like something that we should just you know cut out of the video but like i still go and watch something while i go and do all of these like huge tasks or maybe i just you know subject you guys to my movie and show reviews and then you have to be there and suffer <laughs> But yeah, uh, for once in my life, I don't really have anything to talk about. Like, it's been pretty chill lately, so, you know, I haven't, I haven't really had, like, anything to, you know, run my, uh, my brain through. Ooh, I've been reading a lot more Berserk. I'm on, like, uh, I think I'm halfway through, uh, Deluxe Volume Edition 10 of 14. So, I'm, like, excited to catch up to the current chapters, but I'm also very sad to catch up to the current chapters, because they only release, like, four chapters a year. So... That's gonna be rough, <laughs> but yeah, like I do. I still, oh my god, there, there's so many buildings that I love and like so much like infrastructure from Berserk that I love that I want to put into this world. So, very much so looking forward to that. Um, anywho, so since this is the last day, I want to get as much of this stuff as I can. I want to get as much stone as possible so that hopefully. I don't need to go mining for, like, the next three episodes, but yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go watch something. I kind of want to start Game of Thrones, because I feel like that would also give me a lot of inspiration for this world. 
and also um don't judge me so i own i think the first eight seasons or i i think there's like only eight seasons however many seasons there are i think i own all of them on blu-ray or i own every single one of them except for the last one on blu-ray and i've never watched it <laughs> and i've owned them for years i think i've owned them since 2019 yeah <laughs> But I, I might go watch that, because, like, I, I hear, like, amazing things about it. I'm kind of assuming that it's the... It's it's probably the same as Berserk, to where, you know, like, it's a, a dark medieval show to where, you know, the good guys can actually die and lose, and there's, like, a lot of, you know, adult themes to it, so... I might enjoy it. It might be a really good story. Everyone keeps on praising it, except for the final season. Everyone says that it's absolute dog water trash, so... Sounds like it's Jujutsu Kaisen at this point, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Man, I might go watch that, especially if they have really cool castles. It might give me an idea for our house in the future. Whenever I get to that point of, you know, actually building my own personal home instead of like all these, uh, you know, massive homes for other people. But uh, yeah, anywho's, I think I'm gonna uh, go watch like the first three episodes. That should be about three hours. So uh, it was fun. Talk to you soon. I didn't see you there while I was traveling back to my mountain. So funny enough, I actually just finished, uh, you know, um, healing up all of the stuff. I finished off all of our pumpkin pies. We're finally on to golden carrots, thank God. Oh, and I also finished, I, mean, I don't know why I'm looking back there as if you can see it, but yeah, I, I finished Darman's pants. So finally, you can hide it. And uh, we're making, I think I'm almost done with the chest plate as well. I think I just need to get to level 28 and then we should be done with that. But um, anywho's, so I watched the first three episodes of Game of Thrones season one. I got to say, like, it's honestly like a solid nine or 10. That, that is like finally like something on a streaming service, like something from Hollywood. Like it, it's actually really damn good. And I think it's strictly because it's such an old show. <laughs> Now, I say old, even though it's, like, I'm just taking a guess here. I think it was, like, 2014 when it came out. Like, around 2014? Maybe 2010? Like, um, no, I'm not entirely too sure. HBO Max didn't, you know, say what year it came out. But I'm loving the world building. I'm loving the character development of everyone. I can already tell who's going to be surviving until Season 6 because of how much of a... Wait, mm, I, I, like, I, I gotta be careful. Um... A little stinker they are, you, you know? Um, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to make YouTube happy. Um, how much of a little mini doo-doo head? Yeah, you, you, you like that one, YouTube? I know, because only children use your website. There's no such thing as teenagers or adults. But yeah, like, I, I'm already guessing that... I think his name was Prince Joffrey, the, uh, the little blonde twink prince that's, like, incredibly annoying and it's kind of a loser. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been three episodes and like I just I already know his character very well Yeah, he is one million percent going to be surviving until season six probably maybe season seven you, you know how every single creator is like every author director where if there's a character you hate They're gonna be in there for many many seasons and uh, there, there there's a lot of um female personality in the show like, I, I already expected it because, like, I'm not completely clueless about Game of Thrones. Like, I was, you know, in high school, I think, when the seasons were coming out. Maybe junior high. I forgot which one. But, yeah, like, I, I knew what to expect, but, like, wow. Wasn't expecting that much. Like, there, there was just a lot of personality every single episode. It was kind of insane. So, I, I understand why the show has such a high rating with everyone. <laughs> There's no question to me why <laughs> why guys really like this show. It's really good. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Jesus, um, no, like I, I, I'm, I'm actually enjoying the show very much. So it, it's a lot to take in at once. But I'm pretty sure it was George R. R. Martin that created Game of Thrones. But for whatever reason, when you're watching the intro, it gives credit to like some other people. So I'm guessing it was directed by like not George and I'm guessing it was just you know he entrusted some people to adapt his books into movies I think but no like the the character development the pacing like everything like honestly it's astonishing like it's really damn good 
So for once, hey, I, I actually really recommend, you know, if you guys are looking for like a Hollywood show to watch, heavily recommend this one so far. Each episode's very long, but it's it's kind of weird. It doesn't, I, I guess you could probably relate it to my videos for like people who watch, I guess. Um, it doesn't feel as long as, you know, the timer says. I think episode one was an hour, episode two I think was like 50 minutes, and I think episode three was like 50 minutes or an hour. Doesn't feel like it whatsoever. It, like, yeah, every episode to me felt like 20, maybe 30 minutes, but I, I would say like 20, 25 minutes. So it, it was like really enjoyable watching it. Um, haven't really seen any fight scenes or like any intense stuff yet, but like I just, I'm heavily enjoying, uh, the show so far it's kind of funny like uh, as certain things were happening i was like oh this is gonna be exactly like berserk especially when the female personalities were coming out and also i can already tell that just about everyone is gonna be dying like i already know some characters die i don't remember which ones other than like i don't want to spoil anything but i can't even describe him or else that's a spoil but yeah like i, I know like one of the characters definitely dies and some other ones do like it's uh off of the first episode alone just seeing how they're like yeah, we'll just kill this one. Yeah, we'll just kill this guy. Okay, yeah, and then, oh, yeah, we're gonna kill the wolf. It's like, oh, okay. So it's definitely gonna be one of those shows, like, one of the, like, uh, one of those stories to where, okay, people can actually die. There's actual risk, so I think I'm going to heavily love this one. And then watching all of the scenery and the buildings and stuff, like, they're okay. They're kind of, like, typical medieval stuff, so... I'm not exactly getting ex uh, expired. Yeah, I hope I'm not expiring, but uh, I'm not exactly getting any um, inspiration though. So that's like a little bit of a downside, but at least for like, I guess for world building, when, especially that intro. Oh my God, that intro is gorgeous. It's such an amazing job on that. And I guess I'm kind of getting a, like a world building uh, inspiration from it. But it's pretty typical stuff of just, you know, trees here and there, dirt pathway, blah, blah, blah. So, it, I, I'm, I'm waiting for some cool stuff. I kind of want to build the wall. I don't know why. It just looks kind of fun. But that might just be me being like a masochist right now. Just thinking like, oh yeah, let's go build a wall that's 240 blocks tall and made of really difficult to get blocks. Yeah, that sounds like a good time. Also, this giant hole is really annoying. Cause then what I do is I, I do this and then I just jump down and then I turn this on, quickly get all the blocks because Lord knows that I need every single one of these. So I really don't want any of them to escape me. I think I've gotten everything. I don't really think anything else is falling down here. But it is, it's starting to look really nice as I'm like letting in light in here. Cause I think I do want to build a potion place, even though like I've just, I've never used potions before. And I think it's just because of, um, how long it takes for you to like use them and also just like the hot bar like I, I guess it's just like too much uh preparation to like actually use them so i just i've never really been into that it's uh, it's the same thing with any game anything that takes a lot of preparation i'm usually just not into it i don't know why like i'm just more of let's go 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 instead of okay let's go prepare this one okay we have x amount of time now to do this like it just <laughs> Please don't fall into the ravine, please. I don't want to break my ankles again. And I totally understand why uh, a lot of you just put on my videos to like fall asleep or like go do a task or like homework or whatever. Totally get it. Oh my lord, does it like... I think, uh, yeah, it's been like three-ish hours. Because just watching Game of Thrones while I'm just digging this hole. Oh, not, not even just Game of Thrones, but like just watching anything while I'm digging this hole or, you know, building the, the, the trading hall. Like it, it's really nice. Like what? Three hours went past and you know, it only felt like maybe 40 minutes. So yeah, no, I totally get it. Now there's no question there. Like it, it just, it makes it so like enjoyable to where like, oh yeah, I actually kind of want to do this. It's also kind of insane to think about that. Um, yeah, this was a mountain making, making pretty decent progress going down, especially, well, okay, well not that spot, but, but as soon as we hit the cave, we can get really low because I kind of want to hit deep slate soon. Like, I'm really hoping to do that. 
So we'll definitely need to figure out something to get Darman in here. Like I'm just, oh God, dude, I'm so hoping that it's not gonna be something super tedious. Oh, but I do remember this. One of you writing a, uh, a comment about this when I asked about uh, streams. And I think I love this idea to where I'm trying to think of like how to portray to like everyone that comes across this series, just so like it's a kind of like a common knowledge thing. Or maybe I just said in the beginning of the episode, but let's say, you know, I do episode nine. And then after episode nine, it's like, well, wow, I really need a lot of materials. And then, you know, Darman comes and joins me or I just go do a solo stream and I spend, you know, eight hours or, you know, two, three days, whatever, just mining down. And then we take that stream or streams and then we turn it into episode in 9.5. So technically you don't need to watch it, but I'd appreciate it if you did. And I guess you could like equate it to, you know, like a regular show or anime to where, you know, it, once you see like the point five it's like okay that's just a recap episode where like it's not going to be recap but it's not entirely important to watch like you can just go from episode nine straight to ten and you'll know what happened because it's like okay you just went in you know you either were just you know building a massive wall like the foundation to the uh the trading hall or i just went and i dug down on this hill like 50 y levels so I, I i like that idea never thought of doing it like that so uh, huge props to you guys for that one that, that was a very good call i think that's a really good move same thing with the uh, the main channel i think i'll do that as well whenever i need to go and uh like gather a ton of resources or just whatever you know like if i'm gonna stream on the world then there we go and Hey, if I stream something and it's actually important, then boom, we'll just call it the next episode. But yeah, like, I, I think it's a really good move. See, I like this. I like this partnership that we got going on, you know? I yap and, you know, create projects that would, you know, cause a Victorian child pain. And then you guys help me out with the ideas and thinking of things that I didn't think of. Like, it's a really good partnership. Absolutely love it. Like, it almost makes me want to say that Darman's getting a pay raise, but nah, nah, probably a pay cut because he didn't tell me those ideas. Ooh, actually here, uh, it's going to be pretty counterintuitive just because, like, you know, we're going back to the base. But I feel like I should show you guys everything that I managed to collect while I was, you know... Uh, doing this off camera because boy oh boy do we have a lot like I, at this point there's genuinely no doubt in my mind that we're actually going to be uh be able to complete the trading hall after everything that i mined up okay so here's uh darman's finished stuff so far coming over here like just everything stone we filled up an entire grass block uh, chest there starting over here also got some dirt in there we're now done with this double chest of stone, starting on this one out. Like, we almost have all of this as stone, so that's really awesome. Only, uh, like, that and that is just grass blocks, so. Not worried, uh, whatsoever about the, uh, the, the trading hall, you know, finishing all of these stone parts. Literally no worry whatsoever. I then also, like, while I was over here, I just went through to, like, all the farms and the bamboo, turned that into sticks for trading, but I just went through all the farms just to turn into bone meal. Just so, like, I don't know, he can grow again or something. I used one of uh, the diamond axes here, chopped down all the wood, gather all that stuff. I've been tending to the bees, which I think there's a lot of honey again. Okay, well, that doesn't make it look like I've been tending to the bees, but I swear I've been tending to the bees. Of which, we almost have two stacks of honey. Oh, one of you told me an idea. I never tried this or even thought of doing this before, but apparently... I, I think it'll be possible for me to put uh, sweet berries and then we put carpet on top of it. So either moss carpet or just regular carpet, uh, either one of those. But I think that should be possible. So you, one of you left a comment and like, I don't even think you knew if this would work or not. But I think if I do that for the floor, so imagine like below this, like imagine this is carpet, below that is a sweet berry. It might prevent the villagers from walking. So we might be able to actually kind of like trap them in areas where it looks like they have like the freedom to walk around and stuff, but it might actually keep them back, which sounds really, uh, really nice because like I would love to decorate, you know, 
the the um the lower courtyard over there but like maybe we trap some of them with horses or we make it look like some of them have like horses up there but like we have some villagers down there up in the upper courtyard all like on the grass sections where like I, I think i'm still gonna be putting farms up here we can then maybe have some of the villagers like looking as if you know they're tending to the farms and you know trying to harvest stuff so We'll definitely try it out. I should be able to find some sweet berries near me. I actually don't know if I've ever found any or like the last time that I've seen one, but I think there's some near me and I really want to try that out. Uh, but do I have moss? I do have moss. Okay, beautiful. I think I got that from a wandering trader. So uh, thank you so much past wandering trader. But I think that I, I I think that would work because I swear villagers avoid sweet berries. Like I don't think I've well unless they're like incredibly stupid, which like that ah oh, dip villagers being stupid. What no that's not possible. That's like you know saying that I upload long videos. So I don't think I've ever seen a villager purposely go into the uh, sweet berries so i think it's like a natural natural border if that doesn't work this way is a lot more like just ugly and obvious but like you know we could do bamboo and then we just put string on top of the two blocks and then boom that'll keep the villagers in or fences or i could put uh honey on the ground and then we put carpets on top of it i don't think that gets rid of the stickiness of honey i'm pretty sure the effect of honey blocks goes through carpet and then maybe we have slabs or leaves or something above their heads or, you know, just like a little one block wall that they can't jump over. Like that might work with them, but I, I, I'm greatly appreciating your, your guys' like uh, ideas for everything because if, that, if those sweet berries work, that's going to be incredible. Like I'll be able to decorate the entire trading hall so well, which I think we need more villagers now thinking about it because I still haven't gone through and done all of the trades. I kind of just want to say it's because I'm still traumatized of working with villagers, even though those ones are angels and that's the only reason why I'm building a trading hall that massive. It's not that, you know, villagers deserve them. It's just that my villagers are nice enough to, you know, not be like a typical villager to me. But I think I went through and I yapped uh, uh, like all of my ideas. Oh, wait. Okay. Another, another yapping idea. So I think it's already starting by the time that this episode goes live. And I'm thinking of doing the same thing on the main channel, but maybe, so I, for all of March, you know, we just had this series, did phenomenal, you guys love it, me and Darman love it, channel's growing, doing amazing, you know, it's, it's now successful, it's where we can continue doing it, so like, it's just all this phenomenal stuff. So what if we do three episodes of the survival series every single month? And then we have one random video. It could be like a different game or I don't know, something else on Minecraft, Pro most likely a different game, let's be real. And I'm kind of thinking of, so there's Red Dead Redemption 2, which a lot, well, some of you wanted me to finish. And I'm kind of tempted to just stream that game and then just upload it to my VODs channel or like my, uh, my Skies Live channel. And then, you know, we could just finish the, the, uh, the Let's Play over there. But then I'm thinking on this channel, would you guys be like, I, I don't know why I'm asking this. It's such a stupid question because like, let's be honest, the answer is yes. But would you guys be down for like a six or like an eight hour long? Oh my lag. Hello, computer, computer, calm down, relax, relax. I'm getting my power supply tomorrow. I can finally build a new computer. One that's not going to be stupid like this one which i don't know why oh i think it's just because of my hard drives anywho's would you guys be down for like a six to eight hour long like once a month episode of cyberpunk 2077 maybe it'll be edited kind of like these like uh like this series it's just it'll be stupid long because it's only once a month but it's also just to get through the game a lot faster so that then you know the series doesn't run on for a very very long time and then you know you guys get tired of it and then i have to drop it because you know it's just it's not getting you know any views so yeah there, there there's my idea for that which like you know i, I i'm pretty sure the answer is yes because you know you guys just really want super duper long episodes please don't push my blocks that's why i rushed down here no 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 stop that and then obviously like i'm it's not gonna be cyberpunk you know 
it's not going to be three episodes of Minecraft a month and then, you know, the one episode of Cyberpunk. It'll just be until, you know, I either beat Cyberpunk or, you know, I get tired of the game or you guys get tired of watching it, which hopefully never happens. But I, I've been wanting to play it for a very long time. I've just been waiting for it to update and, you know, actually be playable and be good, which allegedly it is like i'm pretty sure it's a good game now and like it's actually playable so i'll, I'll wait until this episode goes live just to see your guys's comments so hey you know when you're watching this if you can pretty pretty please with the cherry on top you know just say your thoughts on that see if you guys really, you know, want to see that uh that, that'd be awesome so thank you guys and yeah i think i think i'll have enough time if i go watch three more episodes i think three more episodes will have a metric ton of stone i'm just trying to make it from this one episode which should have been a live stream multiple live streams i'm just trying to make it from this episode that will have enough material so where we won't have to do this for a hopefully a long time i'm really hoping that which i can already tell one of the episodes we're going to have to go into uh, the ocean and work on the ocean monument god i hate those they're so needlessly difficult but um yeah i think uh three more episodes of game of thrones and then that should be the end of this episode and then we finally get back to building and making an absolute beautiful monstrous sized uh, building for villagers and i think i am gonna do prismarine blocks for the ceiling i think that's a very good decision for the block because i think having a, a dark uh, green roof would really make it look uh, a lot more alive, but also um, it just won't be stone and it can't get destroyed by lightning. Okay, wait, where's the other blocks? Why do I not see them? Wait, did none fall down here? I am confuzzled. Here, go take a ride on my water slide. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Go down there. What are your family? There you go. Oh, huh, interesting. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I guess nothing dropped down here. Oh, weird. Whoa, Jesus, don't don't jump scare me, bro. Okay, but don't follow me up here. No, 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 you can stay down there. Okay, uh, anywho, see you in three hours. Woo! Sup, it's been a little bit. A lot has happened. Not really, but I did watch a lot of Game of Thrones, baby. Woo! So I finished the first six episodes now, and oh my god, is it such a good show. Like, loving the character development, the betrayals, the fighting that's happening, all the politics in it. Like, it's actually really good. I, I can see why it's always been super big, and I kind of regret never watching it earlier on. I kind of, like, really wish that I did, because it's, it's so good. Oh, it's such a good one. Obviously, absolutely not meant for kids or, you know, people with, like, weak stomachs or hearts, I guess. Like, I don't know how else to, like, prefix it. But it, it's really good. I, I really, really enjoyed. Heavily recommend it to you guys if you guys are looking for more stuff to watch. Don't even have any gripes with it. Like, finally, a story to where, like, I'm not complaining about something in it because the author, you know, he's actually competent. He actually knows how to tell a story. He, he went into his industry with skill and, you know, knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it looks like, uh, at least where I'm at, it, it looks like the story is about to get, like, really wicked. They keep on talking about these, I think they're called White Walkers or Frost Walkers. Something about, like, uh, this, like, entity or this group that has been gone for, like, a thousand years. So they, they keep hinting at that one, waiting for that to finally show up. Uh, this is so unsettling that this isn't falling. I, I don't like this. But very much so looking forward to that. Also can't wait to see the dragons, which it now makes sense to me why that one blonde girl is known as like the mother of dragons. Like totally understand that one now. I was always a little curious. Oh, I hate having a cash show on a cat. What the hell? Come on, come on, lock in, buddy. Come on, you can talk, you can talk. And I hate having a cave right here to where I'm building. Or, oh my god, digging! Like, I, I really don't like this. Like, what are the odds that the one area in my entire world where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go and destroy this because, you know, it probably won't matter whatsoever if I go and, you know, I dig here. And then, of course, just cave. And not even a little cave, no, it's one of the most massive caves ever that's probably gonna be going down quite a way. 
But okay, I think I trimmed the oil a decent amount. I just want to have to go down there as like few times as possible. So I'm trying to get rid of all the blocks that are going to be falling down into there. So I'm not going down there like 27 times. But at least the more that I mine, the safer it is down there because wow, that is really bright in there. La -da -dee. Nope, don't push the blocks, please. Don't. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, that's pushing all the blocks. Oh, freak. I really should have gone and emptied my inventory into cloud and probably should have slept. I think it's turning nighttime. Things are about to become very wicked. Oh, no, it's okay. Don't mind me, guys. No, no, it's fine. You don't need to come over here. It's okay. Oh, my God. They pushed the block so far. Please, no touching. Don't touch the merchandise. Oh, dodge. Oh, don't shoot me. Oh my god, no, 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 it is nighttime now. Another thing I didn't know, I think it's just an arrow. Okay, well, at least you're not a good shot, so I do appreciate that. Oh god, oh no. Don't come near me. No. No, green wiener, no. No, no. Come on, come on, I can get away from him, I can get away from him. No, mm -mm. no, mm -mm. no touching, no touching. No. I escaped him? Good, okay, phew. Okay, please nothing spawn, please nothing spawn, just let me sleep, just let me sleep. Okay, phew. Uh, I don't know, like, I, I kind of want to stay here and just mine a little bit more, because I made, um, two more double chests, and I kind of, oh, well, now there's a lot of enemies here, and I don't feel like fighting, uh, never mind, you know what, nah, let, let's just go home, let's go home, because I got some fun stuff to show, I think, I don't really remember everything that I showed before I watched the, uh, in, like, the last three episodes of Game of Thrones, I, I'm, I'm now on, uh, episode seven, but I think I'm gonna wait to watch the show, or when I am, uh, like, playing on here. Like, here or on the main channel future series. Because, yeah, I don't know how many episodes are in each season. If there's eight seasons, each one is an hour long. Like, I'm just going to assume that there's eight or 12 episodes per season. So, not too shabby. It sounds like my YouTube channel. It's so bizarre to me how fast your mounts will actually heal. Like, this meal, it was, what, down two hearts? And now it's almost completely healed before I even make it back to our base? Like, they... Man, like, I, I wish I could heal like that. Okay, sick. So, yeah, I think I pointed out that I made the pants last time. I, I, don't, I don't think that's new whatsoever. Did a little bit of trading. I added these two chests up here because every single one of these over here, yeah, they're completely filled with stone. So that one's awesome. Finally finish up this one. And then this one over here, it just has like a little dinky amount, a little cute amount right there. I made a chest for all of the coal that I've been getting, which has been very helpful for healing my pickaxe while I've been, uh, like, mining and stuff. So there's all of that, and then, okay, I'm not gonna put you in there. I guess I haven't really been collecting any granite. Yeah, that's kind of a new one. Huh. And then been staying up with the bees. Well, not really staying up with them. I let them go do whatever, but I've been keeping up with them. There you go that. Boom. Almost two stacks there. And yeah, like it's basically just been like a, you know, carbon copy of what I've been doing the past like couple of hours and you know, and ever since yesterday. Uh, I haven't had to chop down the trees luckily, but I used up the rest of the wood. So next time we're definitely gonna have to do that, but I just don't feel like doing it right now, even though I probably should go do it right now. But like, eh? Here, let me, let me show you what we like to do with eggs. I don't know why, like now thinking about it, I don't know why I always make an a uh, like a kid, what, what am I trying to say? Dude, am I having a stroke right now? Like, I just, I can't talk. Um, yeah, I don't know why I always make this chicken farm. Like, I, I never actually use the eggs, and I never eat chicken. So, I don't know why I always go through and do this. Probably, like, once we make, like, a an animal place, I should probably make it to where... Yeah, but, like, even then, I'm just gonna be eating golden carrots. But, you know, just having a, uh, a chicken thingy like this... But then we have it to where the eggs are being automatically thrown, so, like, more chickens will just keep on spawning in. And then maybe once there's so many chickens, then I go through and I just kill them all. Maybe that could be an XP farm. Maybe that's what we can use it for, because, yeah, like, I, I don't know why I always make these chicken things. And I also don't know why I made it, like, a little parkour jump to get up here. But yes, so, I think we were unbelievably successful in this. We have so much stone to go through. If I can't complete the stone wall part of the trading hall, I'm gonna be immensely surprised. I think I've gathered enough grass blocks to actually finish the, the, uh, the grassy areas in the upper courtyard as well. And, oh my god, there's so... And the iron golems. I don't know why you guys spawn so much. Yeah, I don't know. I've just been going through. Can you get hit? Thank you. But yeah, I've just been going through and just constantly killing them whenever I come back here, which I think I've started to sell some of the iron as well. And also just buying a lot more of the, uh, 
the golden carrots just because I have so many emeralds. So come on, where's more? I know there's about three more of you. I don't think there's any over here, luckily. Come out, come out to wherever you are. Now, this episode is probably a little bit more boring than, you know, a regular episode. However, at least at this point, we're not going to need to go farming for quite some time. The next farm that we are going to have to make, though, is the, um, the Guardian farm, which I don't know how I want to decorate that or how I would even make it look pretty. Okay, I think I know... I might have an idea for it. Or maybe we just make the collection areas and maybe the area where I AFK, that's what we make look like, you know, like a, a big build, probably not a mega build for it. And then we just make that look pretty. Like maybe, maybe that's what we do. But that one's going to be fun. Very much so looking forward to that. Plus we also do need sea lanterns so we can stop using torches and then we can start lighting up everything. Especially with us being really close to finishing the upper courtyard of the trading hall. Like it's kind of, you know, Getting a little dire with how unsafe it is because, you know, anything can just spawn in at this point. Oh, and I think uh, two wandering traders came by the pit. Yeah, oh, there we go. We'll call it the pit instead of the hole. So, yeah, uh, two wandering traders came by at the pit over there. So, we got, you know, four more leads. So, very nice there. And, yeah, I think that's basically it, really. Like, I don't really have anything to yap about. I mean, we could probably be kind to future me and go trade, but I don't really have anything to trade. Ah, you know what? Here, I, I can probably come up with something to yap about while I go and I chop down some trees. Oh, and then maybe, because I, I need to do dark blocks for the uh, the nether portal mega build. Maybe we do a lot of the prismarine stuff. Maybe. Or, mm, no, 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 no. Because that's when we're going to have to use a lot of the deep slate stuff. Which I think that's when Darman's going to be coming in, maybe. Just because we have a ton to dig down. And that's actually going to take quite some time. And then, about live streams, I should probably mention. Because, you know, I, I keep talking about them. I know everyone wants them. I kind of miss streaming a little bit. So, it's like, you know, I kind of want to bring them back. The, the biggest issue, and I don't know why it's an issue is with one of my internet providers is the one that I like to use, you know, for this, you know, for work, regardless of how you look at it. Um, it constantly drops and it's not like an annoying dropper. It's like, oh man, once a day, I, you know, my internet goes out and then it comes right back. No, I'm talking randomly once a day, my internet will drop for about 30 seconds to a minute and then it comes back up for about 15 seconds if I'm lucky most of the time five seconds and then it'll drop for another 30 seconds to a minute and it'll just repeat this for one hour just randomly some days like it'll actually be fine and my internet will stay up the entire day but it's like there's someone at the company that specifically hates me and they have it out for me and then just randomly when they're on their shift they're like you know what I haven't messed with Skies in a little bit. And then they'll just go and just turn off my internet for like a minute and they'll turn it right back on. I've contacted them like four times about this and they don't know what's wrong. They, all, they always tell me, oh, did you try restarting it? It's like, oh no, I didn't think of that. Next, you're going to say, hey, if you're thirsty, you should go and drink some water. And I'm going to be like, what? I never considered that either. Next, you're going to tell me if I'm feeling sleepy, I should go lay down. Yeah, it's just like the fun stuff that I'm dealing with. So I'm trying to like get it to where my internet's not dropping anymore. I'm like testing out a lot of things to see what's making it drop because it's very random. But if I can fix that, then I should be good to actually stream again. Once I also go through and I update my software and you know, I just like spruce it up a bit, you know. Make it make it look a lot prettier, like on uh, stream, you know, where it's not so like poopy. Also, would like to stream in a higher quality, but then I know a lot of you won't be able to watch because then it's just gonna be uh, it'll come down to your internet and blah blah blah. I don't know. I'm really good at yapping. Ooh, and then another thing. So before I update to 1.21, whenever that comes out, you know, I I want to get every single trade. Uh, like all, all the enchantment trades from the villagers just so like I always have options and I can just go and get whatever one that I want whenever Dude, have you guys been keeping up with the update? Like it's it's like someone at Mojang finally went on Twitter for once and they looked at just like oh Not even just Twitter even on YouTube But it's like someone at Mojang finally realized just how much the entire player base doesn't like them because of just how much they don't do Every single year like they've actually been cooking like this is an actual update for once like, unless they, you know, scrap some ideas or they keep some of them for, you know, 1.22, which is a very, very big possibility. 
Like it's actually like I'm actually expecting that at this point. But dude, like 1.21, it actually looks like it's gonna be really good. It looks like it's gonna be another 1.16 era. I think it was 1.16, whichever one that the Nether update came out in. I think it was 1.16. Like that one was huge and actually added so much to the game. Oh, dude, this one very excited for it. I might actually try out a new weapon for once because I think it's a mace. I, I think that's what it was called that they're adding to the game. That one looks incredible. So very, very much so looking forward to that. So that one's going to be funny, but oh, no, funny. That one's going to be very fun, but it also just puts a lot of emphasis on in this series and the main channel future series. Yeah, I need to get every single villager trade, which is also going to be pretty difficult for the main channel one because like, I'm not doing a trading haul yet. Like I'm trying to uh, not do the exact same thing on here, like on there. I wasn't expecting to run out of an X so fast. I thought it would last a lot longer. And I see a lot of your comments on episode six. Don't worry, bro. Like we'll try and make every single one of these episodes over two hours. Like that, that seems to be like the sweet spot for everyone. So, you know, we'll, we'll try and do that. The hard part is just whenever I go mining on the hill, how I don't really have anything to talk about. And also just so I can actually, you know, stand mining everything, how I just want to go watch something while I do it. Just so I don't have to think whatsoever. And I can just turn off my brain. So that's probably why, like, I don't know how long this episode's gonna be. Hopefully it's over two hours long. It's also why I'm just talking right now for you guys. But yeah, uh, don't worry. Like, we'll, we'll keep trying the two hour one. And it honestly, like, I don't know if you guys are into the no intro, like just straight into the video or if you're into the intro. Like it seemed, it, it seemed like you guys were into it to where, you know, there's no more intros. It just goes straight into the video, which could just be, you know, the thing for the second channel. Like this channel, you know, maybe, maybe there's just no intros. Ooh, and then for anyone who made it this long. So I'm contemplating between 200 days on Sons of the Forest or 200 days on Fallout 4 for the main channel. And I think I'm going to go with Fallout 4 just because I feel... Why is there a tree here? I never played into this. Oh, weird. But I think I'm going to go with Fallout 4 just because I feel like it's more enjoyable to watch. I feel like, like, I, I know that, you know, Sons of the Forest, super funny, super awesome for you guys to watch me get like traumatized and scared. However, you can also watch me get traumatized and scared in Fallout 4, just purely based on how stupid difficult it is and how, you know, random things just come out of nowhere and hit me and scare the daylight savings out of me. But yeah, a little, a little, a little sneak peek there. I think I'm gonna be doing 200 days on Fallout 4. And I think it's going to be the same thing with this channel. It's where, you know, we have three episodes of the survival series, you know, on this channel and the main channel. So it's going to be three episodes of the survival series and then maybe just one random video, just so it's not only Minecraft and, you know, only the survival series. But I don't know about that idea yet. Like, we're definitely going to be playing with it. So if it looks like, you know, no one's enjoying the random video, then we'll just stick to the survival series or... We'll try out like another series and then maybe every other upload is, you know, the other series. So it'd be the survival series. And then let's say I did Subnautica. So it'd be like this survival series, then Subnautica, then the survival series then Subnautica and then rinse and repeat. You know, it just keeps on continuing like that might be what we do. I don't know. Speaking of what we do, let me take all of this. Yeah, OK, that should be good enough. And then any extra XP that we have left over, hopefully, we, I think we need level 28. I'm gonna, I'm gonna double check. Yeah, 28. Okay, so meh. we might go to level 28 then, just so I can complete the chest plate as well. And then maybe next episode, randomly, I'll just complete the, uh, the helmet. It is so hot in my room, I'm dying. Kind of wish that there was just a button that you can press to where, you know, okay, here, you want to do the maximum amount of trades instead of just having to, like, spacebar spam click. Probably a mod for that. Never really looked for it. I never really look for villager mods, but I feel like I probably should. Like, there, I know that there's a, you know, a villager trading mod where I could press a button up here or something and then it'll just refresh the um like the librarian one or i guess like just all of the villagers like it'll just refresh them just so you can you know check all of the different uh trades instead of having to break their block and then put it back down like i i know about that one probably should get it oh and then don't worry i see a lot of you comment about the essentials mod if i try to turn my world into a, a server for me and Darman. Don't worry. I heard you guys about that one. Uh, I'm aware of it. I'll look into it because I think I know another way without like having to add any kind of mod for like to make it a server. Like I, I think I know how to do it. Um, oh, cool. Okay. Well, 
Now we have to wait 27 hours for them to uh, allow me to trade again. But then I also go to you guys and I just trade uh, as much as I can for the golden carrots. Just because I always have so many emeralds. And I just really don't care for these emeralds at this point because I have so many. Oh, you're not maxed out. Oh, that's, that's good. That's wonderful. Okay, so... Yep, just buy all of those, level you up, let me go and throw away the food, because I don't care for suspicious stew. I should probably try it out so, uh, at some point. I don't think I've ever really tried out suspicious stew, but yeah, I'll just, I'll take your guys' word for it that it's probably something like so nummy and delicious and you know, I'll just, ah oh, man, I'm gonna suffer so much by never trying it. La da dee, need to wait for the next day. La da da do. Oh cool, another one of you. Um, no, no, oh, god no, but I need to kill you, hi. You're like the third iron golem that's about to go into my farm. One of them actually made it into the farm before, so yeah, that was fun. So even with a fence, you guys are annoying. What the, uh, hi bud, how are you already damaged? Huh, I haven't even hit you. Oh, you spawned inside of the wall. Before they refresh, we might as well just buy more arrows. Also, just to heal up the bow. Eh. Do any of you sell arrows? Okay, do any of you sell arrows? Okay, good, good. Oh, and then uh, back onto the topic about Game of Thrones. Like, I'm kind of, I, I guess for interiors, I, I kind of like how the, um, the director, like, I, I don't know, like, what to call it, but, like, the person who's behind all of the, the scenery and stuff in Game of Thrones really really like what they did like they're the the scenes in there like just everything about it is just beautiful inside so i think i'm getting inspiration from um from that like their interiors are pretty clean but i kind of like what they do with the uh the, the stone uh variants also yeah I'm, I'm not eating all of that pumpkin pie i don't really care oh villagers please i just want to finish trading all these sticks I don't know why, I got a mad headache. Oh dear fucking god, well, might as well just wait until they're ready to trade. <sighs> oh, dude. Oh, okay, well, he, uh, nah, we're at level 20. Really? Nah, we're at level 22. I, I feel like we have to get to level 28 just so I can uh, finish off that chest plate. Do all of that, and then yeah, you know what, we'll just keep buying more golden carrots since, you know, I want to eat that, so... Regardless of how many millions of those that I buy, it's not gonna go to waste whatsoever. God, you guys spawn them in so much. Are you guys rabbits? I feel like you guys are rabbits. You give off rabbit vibes with how much you just keep popping those babies out. Or should I just call you Bob the Builder? Come on, villagers, don't edge me, please. Come on, please tell me I'll get to level 28. Oh my god, we're so close. Ah, okay, well, that was all the stick stuff, but that should be fine. Hopefully you guys can sell me a lot. Yes. Actually, no, no, here. Before I even buy more of those. Okay, let's just go combine the chest plate. And then we'll just finish, you know, using up all of the emeralds. We'll just buy more of those golden carrots. Oops, wait, you know, you're back here. Boom, boom, and beautiful. Oh, and then maybe in the trading hall, maybe we do a lot of like, a, uh, I was about to say silver, but maybe we make like a lot of armor, um, like iron armor. Dear God, I can't speak. I'm sorry. Yeah, like a lot of iron armor and we make all these armor stands and then maybe we kind of like pretend that it's guards everywhere or I guess, you know, and regular medieval stuff, you know, just you for some reason have, um, you know, yeah, yeah, you know. Okay, they, for whatever reason, I never understood it, but they just have like all of this, uh, like knight armor just in all of their hallways and stuff. So maybe we do the same and then whenever I update, I guess, I don't know how difficult trims are like to get, or if you can only put trims on um, netherite stuff, but if I could put trims onto uh, iron stuff, maybe we could put like special trims on all of them. But again, like, I don't know if trims are a one-time use, if they're super difficult to find. Like I've never tried out that update before. I've never tried out um, trims and stuff. So yeah, like I'm going into that very clueless and I got a feeling that they're very difficult to get and I'm being like too hopeful. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so sick. Uh, finish up that for Darman, almost have the helmet. If we can at least just finish up the armor so that then he just doesn't die, then I think we're gonna be, you know, set that way. But yeah, it might not seem like it, but this was insanely uh, productive, you know, especially with the pit over there where it's actually, it's starting to look cool. Like when we're gonna be able to see just like a straight, just going straight down, you know? And just getting all of this stone, so uh, I think this is episode 8, so episode 9 is going to be really, really exciting with hopefully finishing 
the upper courtyard area of the the trading hall and maybe also the walls to the building maybe that as well but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my duck skin and the on the first day of this recording or on this video and i hope you guys enjoyed the episode and all of my movie and tv show reviews and I think I asked some questions in here and like answered some of your guys' questions as well. Blah, blah, blah. Like it, it was, it was fun. It was informative, very productive. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. See ya.